So when looking at this problem, um, I came across a fraction, right? And student gave a very good idea. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a fraction, look at it. This isn't so bad because I have g and h. So when we look at, remember, which, which is the easier variable to solve for, I have two of them that have a coefficient of 1, right? So I could really pick one or the other. And to get rid of the fraction, if I wanted to, I could multiply this whole expression by 3. And I'd have now I'd have g plus 3h equals 8. And then 3 times 1 third, 8. I just rewrote the first expression. And then the next one is just going to be g plus 3h equals 27. If I multiplied the bottom by 3, right? Then could I use substitution here? Yes. Um, however, you don't need to multiply by 3, though, as well. Let's just do this with practice without multiplying by 3. All right? Why not? Let's see what we come up with. Um, so if I'm going to look at this, I have negative 1 third g plus h. Um, I'm going to plug in. So which one do I want to solve for? Now, you can multiply either one by 1 eighth, but let's just say I want to solve for h. All right? So again, remember, we need to solve for one variable or the other. You could either solve for g, or you could solve for h. In this term, I'm going to solve for h. So I have 1 thirds g plus h equals 9. To solve for 1 third, or solve for h, I'm going to subtract 1 third g. And I get h equals negative 1 third g equals 9. Right? Now, h equals negative 1 third g plus 9. Right? So I took this and I solved it for h. Make sense? OK. Got it? OK. So now I'm going to take my value of h, and I'm going to substitute the expression that's equal to h in 4h into my second equation, to my other equation. So I have g plus 3. And instead of multiplying by h, I'm going to substitute in my value of h, which is negative 1 third g plus 9 equals 8. All right, so now we plug this in. When I use distributive property, that cancels out anyways, right? So I'm left with g plus g plus 27 equals 8. Yes? Uh, yeah, it's a negative, right? Thank you. Um, so when we look at this, guys, Alex. So when we look at this, we end up getting 0g, um, subtract the 27. So you have 0g equals negative 19. 0 equals negative 19. Is 0 ever going to equal negative 19? No. no. Right? So do we, are we going to have a solution then at all for g? No. And if we're not going to have a solution for g, we're not going to have one for h. So therefore, this is no solution. All right? So you could have came across that either way, ladies and gentlemen, if you wanted to do it this way. And ladies and gentlemen, what you look at, actually when we multiply by 3, you guys notice that these are going to have the same slopes, right? Our coefficients of our terms are the same slopes. However, Noah, it's important for you to notice that since these have the same coefficients, but since my c, right, these are both in standard form, my c is different. So therefore, it's going to be no solution. If they had the same coefficients and my c, which was, you remember your constant in standard form? Sadiq, maybe you don't remember? OK. Um, if you guys look at it, when you have your coefficients are the same and your c's are the same, then you're going to have the exact same prop or exact same equations. All right? You can take your bag off your desk, please. Especially your